there. I wanted to show you what I got at The Ordinary. It was a really fun trip. It's a trip to the Decium store and The Ordinary is a line under Decium. And let's get into the products. The first thing I got there was lactic acid 5% and hyaluronic acid. This is a gentle exfoliator and um, it could lead to some mild peeling. It uh, smooths and tones and brightens your face. And I wasn't sure how my face would react to this. I do have dry skin. And uh, I used to think it was just dry. It's dehydrated also. And so dry meaning it needs a little bit more oil. Dehydrated, it needs a little water. I wasn't sure if this was gonna be too strong for me. It was not. I used it one evening and then the next day my skin did feel smooth after one day. Um, I did buy the 10% as well because I didn't think it would take too long to work up to it. And so I haven't tried that yet, but I'm going to. So that I liked. This is a nighttime product, by the way. Uh, resveratrol 3% and ferulic acid. This is an antioxidant. I'm sure some of you have heard of resveratrol. It's in wine. Go get a glass while you're putting it on. Um, it, it protects your skin from the free radicals. Um, in the air and I would suggest skin testing, skin patching your, your skin and seeing how you would react before you use any of these products. Um, this one was a little rougher on my skin. I did get some redness and some peeling even, um, but I did adjust and when I adjusted, I really liked it and I will be wearing this. I did try this in the AM because I figured it would help me, you know, protect me from the free radicals in the day. And so that I liked also very much. The next product is retinol 5% and squalene. I don't know how many of you have tried retinol. That's probably a whole separate video. I'm late to the game. And so I'm trying the lowest percentage of 5% and hopefully I will work my way up. Retinol is a form of vitamin A and it is uh, proven to fight the effects of aging. And so this formula was fine for me. I didn't have any peeling because they say with retinol, you can get all of that peeling and redness. I did not have that. Um, and squalene is a hydrator. And so this worked well. I'm hoping I will work my way up and catch up to the people who have beautiful skin who've been using retinol for so long. I would suggest checking with a dermatologist before you try these products as well, because you never know how you, you will react. Like you shouldn't be on retinol if you're pregnant, for instance. Another way of doing it is you do your cleanse, your toner if you use one. Then I would choose between my lactic acid or my retinol. And then I would go to my serums from thinnest to thickest. I would then do my moisturizer and then my oils. Some debate about whether you use your oils before your moisturizer. I think you need to take a look at your moisturizer and see how thick it is. Will the oils penetrate the moisturizer or vice versa? For me, I like my oils last. And so, so those are some of the things that you can think about in terms of layering. Um, and so that leads me to my oils, which I love because oils you don't even think you don't even have to think about like layering and when I'm gonna put my oils on. Um, you could even put them in your moisturizer. The first oil I got was organic rose hip seed oil, which is like nature's little vitamin A. And um, it again, it's recommended at night, but I did like it. Uh, it feels light on the skin, and I will definitely be using this on occasion. The next oil is my squalene, which is a great hydrator. Um, if your skin needs hydration, this is perfect. It feels really good going on. It doesn't make my skin feel greasy. Um, some people don't like that feeling afterwards. It did not do that for me. You would have to see for yourself. And the next oil is my marula oil, which I love. It has more oleic acid than linoleic acid. It's uh, Great for dry skin types, I love it. You can even use this on your hair. You can use this, say you have some dry skin on your, your heels, you could use that there too. So these are some of the products. I will be trying some more products. This is probably a long video already. Let me know what you use. What are you, what's your skincare routine? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.